tutorial for the halter dress now it's my birthday on May 18th today is May 14th and I'm so excited to show you how to do this dress this is my first time doing a halter dress so first and foremost you're gonna get a skirt that fits you well and I got this high-waisted black skirt that I love the way it fits it fits a little bit big so I just cut it smaller you know so that it, the, the dress can fit me the way I want it to fit Okay, so now if you're using your skirt or whatever art, article of clothing as a pattern, you know that you're going to leave, you're gonna cut it about a half an inch bigger because when you sew it, it gets smaller. So you wanna leave about a half an inch on both sides for seam allowance. Okay, so you're going to pretend that I didn't do mine because I did it already and use your skirt as a pattern and just cut, 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 cut. Cut, 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 cut both sides, leaving that half an inch seam allowance. And then, when you are done, you will have this beautiful, already done skirt. I already actually cut mine, and um, yeah. So now, um, if you were cutting it, you would just need to add pins. So pretend I didn't sew mine already and you will get your pins and you will um, place the pins along the sides like this. You all know how to do it all along the sides. I try to keep my tutorial beginner friendly, but you will just place the pins all along the sides, all along the sides and you know wherever you place pins, that's where you're gonna sew. So take it to your sewing machine and stitch down, down. You can also do it on a zigzag stitch if you want. You also, if you have an overlock machine that will give it a wonderful clean finish, go ahead and do that and come and I'll show you the next step. Another tip I like to give is that to know the bottom with, um, from the top, because sometimes after you stitch it, it's a little difficult to remember. The top part should usually be smaller if you have a smaller waist, if it goes in, if you have that hourglass shape. Um, I use a safety pin at the top. Just I just put it there so I can know, okay, that's the top, and then after the dress is done or whatever, then I take it off, I know. So go ahead and go sew it, come back, I'll show you the next step. Okay guys, so now for the next part, which is the halter piece. I was using scrap fabric and I've already sewn mine, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Now, as you can see, this fabric is so, so pretty. It's a beautiful fabric, lycra spandex that's like gold. It like changes the way it looks depending on like how the light is shining on it, but it's a mixture of like gold, silver, um, hot pink, and teal, and it is so 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 beautiful and let me know if you guys like this fabric or any of the other fabrics that you see I can make it available if enough people request it okay so this is gonna be the halter top now the thing with this is it's different for everyone after you cut out your skirt you should have a scrap piece on that side you know um, and if you don't it's okay um, for this skirt I would say you need about two yards to be on the safe side so with your scrap piece you will take it, first you could take a, a tape measure. You'll measure around your neck up until your waist part. So you're gonna take the skirt that you just finished sewing, try it on, and then you'll be able to see the distance between your neck and the waist part, where you're gonna do the halter, where you're gonna attach the halter, and you know, make believe this is your neck, because I'm not gonna do it now, I'm not camera ready. Um, you will put it like this, like make sure, make believe this is your head here and your neck is there and then you will cross it around, you see, almost like a ribbon kind of thing and then this is the skirt right here, make believe it's on you, the waist part of the skirt and you're measuring from around your neck to the waist. And everyone's measurement is going to be different, but that's what you're going to do so that you can get the length that you need for that piece of fabric. And then the way that you put it around you, you'll see, you'll get an idea of like how big and how wide you need. But it should, you know, I believe the fabric should, that little scrap fabric should be enough for up to a C cup. If you may need more, then you just have to measure it out and see. So 
I have my scrap piece of fabric so when you get that scrap piece you have the length of it and everything you're going to take it the wide way you I've already done mine but you would fold it over one time fold it over another time about half an inch and you would stitch all along here and then do the same thing on the other side also you have this wide strip of fabric so take that to your sewing machine and you go ahead and do that and if you want to save fabric and when you have that little strip there and you don't want to cut the rest you can just cut it in half and then stitch it together to make it one continuous piece if you don't feel like cutting more of your good fabric and you want to use the scrap let me know if you need me to explain more just leave the comments in the comment okay, section YouTube, so after you're done cutting your piece and hemming it and everything, putting it around your neck, measuring it, you should be ready to attach it to your skirt part. So, what you're gonna do is, um, hopefully you tried it on and you're attaching it while it's on. I'm not camera ready, so I can't do this in front of you, but you'll get the idea. I may try to insert a clip in just so you can see um, what I'm doing. But um, you would take this part, the halter part, and place it around your neck, right? And then, of course, you're gonna cross it over like this. This top part here is gonna be around your neck, and then this is coming down to your waist. So you have a seam here on the side of your skirt, and you should have one on from when you hemmed this part of it. So you can line that up and you don't want to go past that seam. It may go a little bit depending on the hem, but line up the seam so that it could be nice, neat, and clean. So you're going to put that inside of the skirt. You line up the seams, put it inside of the skirt, and you're going to place pins like this. Right? And so you can always, you know, like take the fabric and kind of scrunch it up a bit because you want to have a triangle part in the center so you're just, just going to place that in and you place pins and you can do it on a mannequin if you have one you could do it while it's on you um and then when you take it off hopefully you don't pin yourself or stick yourself with a pin and it should come out just fine so you're going to do that same thing on the other side line up the seam of that skirt the side seam along with the seam from your halter and then place it inside the skirt and you're basically just gonna pin I'm doing a quick job to save time here but you take your time and you do it so that it's nice and neat and make sure you have enough room around your neck part and you're gonna have you can kind of see it there I don't know what you're you kind of see it's, it's not making the triangle because it's not on the mannequin but if you put it on it should make that triangle now I'm gonna go on and take this further and add a piece on the back for a bra like if you want to um you know you, you can't just wear the halter like that without a bra you want to wear with, with a halter bra what you can do is you can cut out an extra piece and you can attach it from you you measure from under your armpit to your waist and then you'll measure from one half of the back to the other and get that measurement so you can add that other piece to the back that can cover a bra strap if you want to wear like a halter bra with it other than that when you're done stitching your halter to the waist part, you just are left with one part, which is to hem the bottom of your skirt. As you all know, this should be inside out to hem it, but you're going to roll it over one time, roll it, fold it over another time, a half an inch. Or you can do it like this too, but it's easier inside out. And then you're going to place pins all around, take that to your sewing machine, and stitch it. So I'll come back and show you how I styled it. Um, I may also insert a clip of how to put the halter on and measure with the measuring tape and everything. But thank you so much. Please check out my Etsy shop. All the links is in the description box. Also follow me on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching.